Uh, hey y'all. Hello. Hey. Hey, guys. hey. How's everybody doing? Doing great. Feeling good. Yeah. yeah. Another good day. Another good day. That's good to hear. That's good to yeah. hear. Sometimes it's a struggle though, right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Day by day. Day by day. Yeah, you, but... these, you know, you get these long, long days in clinic and you're kind of wondering how do we get here and it's it's crazy to kind of think about it in comparison, especially like when I'm talking to kids every day about what it's like being in school right now and and the struggles that kind of people overcame to kind of get to these points and here we are getting a chance to kind of take this step away, but you know, it's a big part of what put us all, all together in the first place. I know. I know. I mean we can reflect about what's going on now, but then we also kind of realize exactly the students that we work with, but then also ourselves, right? We've been through yeah. each of us in our own kind of way, right? Not, not all equal. I'll, I'll be the first to say, not, I haven't been through as much as the <laughs> next person, but we've all had to persevere, right? We've all had situations in the past trying to get to this point um, grades and finances and time and, and you know fortunately we've all gotten here so it's doable obviously but we definitely had some things to overcome on our way I think that's a unifying thread the fact that everybody has to encounter like these obstacles and impediments along the way and you find that energy the thing that you dig deep and extract that allows you to overcome those I mean, half the battle is realizing that you do deserve to be in the room in the first place. I like you saying it's a unifying thread. Um, I think one thing that you miss from watching TV and fairy tales is that you think things are supposed to be happily ever after once you reach a certain point in your life. But really, obstacles are normal. It's just as normal as having a good day. So it's a matter of how you attack them when they come to you, to you head on versus expecting them to never happen and thinking something's wrong with you when they do. Yeah, and I think, you know, the big piece that we all recognize is that through each of these steps, you know, there, there's always going to be something, whether it's those classes you take during, you know, freshman year of college that you feel like are the worst thing in the world and the hardest thing and you can't get over it or it comes to the tests that just keep coming and uh, keep piling up. I mean, you guys know what that feels like. And then with every obstacle that you um, make it through, you can always look back and find something um, that you can learn in order to help you tackle the next thing. And that'll just continue to help make you grow and continue to help make you stronger when the next thing happens. The cool thing is, I think on the back end, every patient you're going to encounter uh, has their own struggle story. And it's like makes you so much more credible and relatable because you know what it's like to have to find that that it, that thing that keeps you going. And so they listen, they uh, connect. That's something I've found. One thing that you can do when something goes on in your life is to take a moment to respect the moment. Just accept the fact that it's happening. You have to understand and believe that you are not the problem. You are bigger than the problem and you can come through whatever it is that you're going through. Do not relate do not identify to whatever your setback may be so you can maintain your confidence and your focus as you're moving forward write down anything that's going on um, to get that internal dialogue that might be going through your head out of your head put it on a piece of paper and then turn the page on the next page try to manage your energy and turn that negative statement into something positive something that you can believe that is something that you can work towards to getting to the next step towards overcoming that obstacle yeah. And I like the piece about relatability. We want to, you know, not, don't relate to the negatives, but we all need that to relate to positives. And I think having mentors, having friends, having people around you who you can relate to and who have been through it um, and can talk you through those moments if you're not necessarily a writer, um, but someone who talks things out, it's important to have those people around too. We've all been around each other when we're having difficulties or struggles and you know, we've all been able to get each other through them. Um, so true. I mean, so true. think about the years that we've put together to, you know, be here. And um, like you said, Dr. Jackson, Johnson, the, just kind of how it all comes together and your support network around you. 
What were you going to add, Dr. Matthews? I, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, I, you know, we're all of us actually, you know, further along in our, our fields than when we first met, right? And we're, we met at different times, right? But um, I think the ability to find people around you that help you stay focused, right? Like Dr. Wilson, like you were saying, you know, you were going through dental school, you needed to find people who understood what you were going through. Um, and we've gotten that from each other, right? Um, we get that from our family. Um, you may get that from, from a mentor. So Dr. Trevino, you're completely right. I mean, I, um, I wouldn't be anywhere without understanding who to go to when I hit one of those stumbling blocks. I think this is a moment in time that's gonna connect us forever because everybody uh, is pushing hard and pushing to try to get over these, these different humps uh, and hurdles. And so we have to do our part to kind of like normalize that behavior and normalize all the different things that you can do, uh, not just to, to understand what's happening, but to emote with others and kind of find that common ground. Yes, when COVID first hit, at the dental office, things were a little bit hectic. We lost a lot of our staff and we had patients lining up around the corner because a lot of dental offices hadn't been able to stay open while everybody was figuring out during the pandemic. But somehow we were able to see all the patients every day. It's because we were able to lean on each other, to rely on each other and really come through as a team to be there for our patients. And Therefore, none of the patients we ever had to turn away. And it's because of that camaraderie that we had with our group. So I think it's really good to have a support system around you at work, at home, wherever you can find those systems to help you get through a challenging time. And I think that in our fields, there is sometimes like a superhero stigma. Um, but reaching out for help and reaching out for mentorship and guidance, and if you just need an open ear, that would actually help make you stronger because you got to be realistic. Sometimes things don't go the way you want them and you don't always have to have that superhero stigma and actually reaching out can just help make you stronger in the long run because you can get advice that could be potentially useful. So talking about advice then, we all have mentees. We all have been mentees. What are you going to tell that student, right? We are, we're, we've been through a, a rough summer. We've been through a rough 2020. What are you going to tell that next student that tells you that just comes to you, just shaking their head, maybe head even down um, and, and is frustrated and is feeling the fatigue that we all experienced as we went through this marathon, right? This is a, a long process to get where we've been. What are you going to tell that next student, that next mentee that, that just comes at you and, and you can feel it because you were there? I mean, that first thing you set the stage was to let them know, like, this is real. This is happens to everyone. And it's okay. I mean, the reality is that, like Dr. Kane was saying, you know, we think we have to be superheroes through this. But we all hit that, that wall, that moment sometimes that just knocks us back a little bit. And we have to normalize that for everyone in our professions about this is the reality of the world that we live in. And sometimes it's going to be pieces that relate to our patients and sometimes it's going to be external factors or with our family and we just have to begin to normalize that i agree i also uh let them know that however they choose to feel is okay you know like you can absolutely if you want to cry through it if you want to you know go out and and, and talk to your friends if you want to tell a family member about it that's okay. If you don't want to tell anybody about it at the moment, that's also okay. Uh, and so letting them know that those feelings are safe and that there's tons of people across the entire world that feel the exact same way. And so we're going to work through it together. And the last thing I tell them is, for me at least, is, you know, it's in their DNA to overcome. Like that's a part of who they are. And they have to acknowledge that and embrace the fact that it's already written for them. That they just have to continue to walk forward. I love that walk forward. Yep. And I would also say, um, find a couple of things every day to be optimistic about. 
And that optimism will help you weather the storm that you're going through because you know, okay, maybe my day isn't going the way I want it to, but I'm going to look forward to these couple of positive things. And if you keep building up that positivity while you're weathering the storm, it'll be a little bit easier to cope with any difficulties. Yeah. And take one, take things one day, one step at a time. You know, this is a long process for all of us. And I think one thing that's gotten all of us through is that it changes, it morphs. You know, one day you're a student in class, the next day you're on the floor, the next day, the next year, you know, you're a resident, then you're an attending. And I, you know, just keep your eye on the prize and realize at some point you get paid and at other points, things are just changing, things are molding and you get to mold with them. So don't get bogged down in the, that moment because that moment will change. I like what everyone's saying. And as you move through the process step by step, you will realize at a certain point that you're gonna gain momentum and you can latch on to that momentum that you have with the gratitude that Dr. Kane was talking about and taking things day by day, like Dr. J Johnson was talking about. As you gain your momentum, you will believe in yourself more and more. And then guess what? For the next obstacle that comes around, you'll be even more prepared because you have gained that resilience that Dr. Italo Brown was talking about. So just keep moving through the motions and you'll get to the prize at the end of the day. I love it, guys. This is why I love coming to talk to you guys. I love it. You guys <laughs> feed my soul. I uh, shed a All tear, right. just <laughs> one single tear. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. All right, bye. Later, y'all. Bye.